Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? I'm trying to run a 5K. Looks like you could use a trainer. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, my friend, I can help you with that. Wow, thanks. Well, first, you need to get a pair of running shoes. Wow, cool! Next on your list, you need to find the right clothes to wear, so you don't get dragged down and fall behind the group. Cool, so now that I have the clothes and shoes, I can run now. Not quite yet. You still have a little ways to go before running. Now you have to make yourself a running schedule with a notebook. But you could use a calendar or any other way of keeping track on days you're running. Making a schedule is important and will help you plan for the week when you're going to run so that you don't end up slacking off. Great! And now that you're done, you should probably put the schedule somewhere safe, but somewhere you can see it every day like on a mirror, or even inside of a locker, will do just fine. Is that all I need to write for the schedule? Yep, now you're one step closer to start running. All right. Oh, my legs are so sore, what the heck? Well, that's because you didn't stretch before you started running. It's very important to, to stretch before you exercise so that you, your muscles won't be so stiff and get pulled. Yeah, no kidding. Wait. You shouldn't stretch like that. Some studies have shown that doing a static stretch while you're sitting or standing may actually slow you down and not help at all. One stretch that you could do before running is the lunge with a lean stretch. What you do is step forward with a long stride, keeping your other leg back. It's preferred to do this stretch with a slow flowing motion. Now another stretch you could do is called high knees. What you do here is as you jog or run, you bring up your knees as high as you can. But pay attention to your pace while you're doing this stretch and take small and quick steps as well. I think I'm ready. I think you're right. Now that you're ready to start your training, I suggest you start off slow and steady. And this goes for when you start racing too. And why is that? So that you don't use all of your energy and heat as well as to get used to running. As you begin, it may be wise to start off small and build up your speed. So maybe start off by walking. Then when you feel ready, gradually jog a little faster to improve your speed. Don't forget to rest in between as well. I'm so tired, I can't run anymore. I'm sure you are. It's always good to take breaks, but don't forget to stay hydrated during and after a race or practice. While you race and when you need to take a break, you should move over to the side of the track, slow down, and drink something that'll hydrate you. I'm so tired. That means you're ready for the last step. And finally, the last step to prepare yourself for a 5K is to eat a, eat a well-balanced breakfast and get good amounts of sleep so that you're well rested and ready to go. Way ahead. A good, well balanced breakfast will keep you up and give you the energy you need to finish the race. Congratulations, Ryan. You just completed the last step of completing a 5K. Awesome. And now I'm finally ready. 